How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Chemo 365. So tonight we're having a closer look at 22LR ammo and if it's worth buying something like this with the word match on it or can you get good results when buying bulk ammo like this? Is this a scam? Is it as good as spam? Let's find out. situation let's say you got yourself a brand new 22 lr pistol or rifle and you're trying to decide what ammo to buy right you walk into your local walmart your local big box retailer your bass pro your cabela's whatever and then you run into this and in some cases you'll have even more of a selection so then you start to try to narrow your search down like mm, maybe i should get the ones in 50 round boxes like that or maybe 325 500 550 you know like uh, maybe i can look at these words on the boxes you know match and target and club competition Ooh, this one says plinking varmint then you see stuff like high velocity standard velocity sub supersonic what does that all mean and that right there is where I have a problem when buying 22 long rifle ammunition, as well as other calibers, but more specifically for me, 22 LR. Here's what I mean. So I showed you guys this a little bit earlier. This is LE, it's $20 for 50 rounds, and that clearly says match on it. But you know what? So does that. This is $7, okay? So the question you should be asking is, how much more performance do I get out of $20 versus seven if they both say match? And that's the thing. There is no industry standard or a governing body that holds these companies responsible and accountable for what they put on there. Match, club, competition, all that stuff really doesn't matter. All we really have to go on is how they package it and what they charge. And a lot of people are guilty of that, right? You assume that the more expensive ammo is going to be more reliable and more accurate out of your specific firearm than the cheaper stuff. But that's just not the truth, right? Let's say you and I have really good technique, right? And we have the same rifle. Mine may like the cheaper stuff better than the more expensive stuff, while yours may need the more expensive stuff and just really hates the cheaper stuff. There's just no way of knowing. Then on the other hand, you have really high quality rifles like Anschutz that can take any ammunition and make it pretty good, right? It can take some good ammo and make it great and great ammo into straight tack drivers. So what do you do? How do you find the ammo that's going to work for you without spending all the crazy money? How do I know what ammunition is going to give me the best results in my firearm? Well, fortunately, we can measure the consistency of velocity with a chronograph. All you do is you get one of these things, you put some rounds over it, and it measures feet per second. And the more consistent, the better. That's going to tell you a lot about the build quality of whatever ammunition you are buying, right? Is the powder drop all the same? Is the crimp from the bullet to the brass all the same? Keeping the pressure the same? All of that is a really good indication of how good your ammo is. Now, if you get one of these and the readings are all over the place, there is no way you're going to get consistent accuracy. There's, it just can't happen. And that's what we're going to have a look at today. Now for this video, we're going to concentrate our attention on these guys right here. They're normally going to be boxed in 50, generally more expensive than bulk ammo, and they're going to say stuff like match, club, target, competition. Those are indications that they should be better than the bulk ammo. Now in part two, which will be the next video, we'll focus our attention on bulk ammo and compare the differences between these guys and the bulk ammo. All right, guys, before starting, as a side note, we got to remember that if we do find something with very little inconsistencies in data, right, a very small spread that doesn't have anything to do with reliability and accuracy for your firearm, it's a good indicator of what to do and definitely is going to tell you what to stay away from if we find something that is wildly inconsistent. Let's have a look. All right, before we get started, this is dedicated to all you freakazoids and geekazoids. It was around 61 degrees, 2 mile an hour wind, crosswind, about 16% humidity, and Sloan, when you look at it on a topo map, is around 2,900 feet above sea level. So if you're into that kind of stuff, there you go. Really simple test. I just backed off 5 feet. That's the recommended distance that the chronograph works on, so 5 feet away. I shot 50 total rounds for each brand. Shot 25, let the barrel cool off. Shot another 25, and that's it. I gave it a quick cleaning with a bore whip, and that was it. Let's have a look at some numbers. All right, this is the ammo that I tested here, and right now they're arranged from the most expensive down to the least expensive. Let me explain how to read the results on this side. 
We have three results that we want to pay attention to. The mean or the average, you basically add up all of the readings for that specific round and you divide it by 50 and that's how you get that. Extreme spread is just a way of looking at the highest reading versus the lowest. You subtract them from each other and you get 54. This is the one you want to look at, the standard deviation. And all this is telling you is that this mean right here, it can be, in this case, 11.95 higher or lower than this number. So the closer you can hang around this number, the better. And I just doubled up on the cost so you guys can see it on one page. Cost in this case is 19.99 for 50 rounds. So the mean, 1121.58. Stream spread, 54. Standard deviation, 11.95. Now the question is, how much worse is it going to get than that? Let's see who's in second place. Whoa, Ellie Club, all right. Mean, 1107.58. Extreme spread, 69. Standard deviation, 12.88. And again, $14 for 50 rounds. We got federal gold medal target at $4.99 or 5 bucks a box. So we go from the bottom to third place. I should mention that I had two stove pipes, so basically failures to extract all the way with this one. But man, $5, $14, what a major price difference there. Let's see who's next. Aguila target comp, which is gonna be this one here. The target comp is different from the rifle match. So this steps up in here, beating the Norma, which is $7, $1 more. So you got 10, 58, 62. Mean 71 extreme spread, standard deviation 60.04, six bucks for 50 rounds. Next up is the normal match, so that stays there. And that's 1042.82, mean the standard deviation, or excuse me, extreme spread here 140.50, standard deviation 28.59 for seven dollars. That's just a mess. And that leaves just one guy bringing up the rear, which is the Aguila target comp, that guy right there. So mean 1050.82, extreme spread 11, 6.30, standard deviation 30.48, yikes. So what does all of this mean? First thing is first, let's talk about value. I can guarantee you this guys, we're going to find some bulk ammo like these guys right here that's going to be below 30.48 or even below or around 28.59. So value wise, I would stay away from this match, the uh, Norma match. And this specific box right here by Gila. Now, here's the other thing that drives me crazy. So, these two guys are exactly the same price. Six bucks for 50. That says 22 target competition. This says 22 rifle match. But the results are totally different. If you look here and get them side by side, look at that. Standard deviation, 16.04 versus 30.48. How are you supposed to know the difference between these two? There's nothing on here. They both say competition. One says target, one says rifle match. How do you know? It's impossible to know. All right, let's have a look at another glaring difference in this gap of price and quality, which is the Ellie Club versus the Federal Premium Gold Medal. So here's a Federal Gold here at $4.99, and they have one that's higher quality than this, like one more, but we're talking about the $5 one here. So standard deviation, 14.21. The Ellie Club, 12.88, $14 versus $5. And I know for me, I'm thinking, holy crap, that price difference is pretty big for roughly two feet per second accuracy difference or consistency and velocity. Is it worth the difference? Again, this test isn't going to show you how much more accuracy you're giving up by sacrificing two feet per second. But still... For me, that's a lot. 14 versus 5. I think maybe if I want something a little bit more accurate, I might try to swing this versus this. All right, guys, I'm going to call it. This is not a scam. It's as good as spam. So if you really want to take your target shooting and be psycho all about it, this is going to be the best way to go. But remember, this guy did really, really good for 5 bucks. It was pretty close. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys which one you want to go with. Now in the next couple of videos, we're going to see if we can get some bulk ammo that's going to be a lot cheaper that can get as close as possible to one of these guys. So guys, that's the ending of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to Chemo365, please do. And remember, I'll catch you guys later.